Hey guys, you're here with Barry, and um, while I was doing my uh, normal routine on the internet for the day, uh, you know, it's a little bit after lunchtime here, and um, I figured I'd get out another quick video. I'm, I'm really enjoying the responses. I'm glad you guys are getting something out of it. Um, it seems that with each new video uh, that we cover in the subjects of trends, it's opening up a few more eyes here and there, which is a wonderful thing. All we ask is just keep forwarding it to everyone you know, because we're all on this together. And what's going on here while the virus, like I, I have to, in case there's any new viewers, where we don't dispute or deny the virus at all. We just uh, question was a worldwide lockdown warranted because of it, according to the statistics. And it's remotely, it's not even debatable. So that's in case there's any new subscribers. Moving on, though, um, <laughs> it's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm getting quite a few uh, emails as of, I think, the last one, which might have been the third or fourth video on this subject, um, about... Hmm, okay. Yeah, I did do that. I did go back and look at two or three, maybe some even said five or six. And, you know, four years ago, five years ago, uh, back in the later days, uh, six years ago. And, okay, you got my curiosity, yeah, because you can't backdate that kind of stuff. And uh, how'd you know? And the truth is, I didn't. It's just what the numbers showed okay I just don't base I try as little on emotion as possible uh, when it comes to these decisions when it comes to other things like personal relationships and marriage and things well yeah there's there's it's a whole different uh, it's a whole different type of emotion I'm talking about when it comes time to understanding the trends I might be and I, I when I say this it's only for example old Barry could be let's say right or left or or, or, or up or down it doesn't matter uh, if I if I take that personal view into it, I can never go into it with a non-biased viewpoint. Therefore, I can never yield accurate results because the the information I put in is tilted. Uh, I often joke, and boy, I get a lot of laughs on this one. I, I often joke with uh, clients uh, when they come down and spend some time with us. And uh, it's really funny because uh, right off the bat, they realize like, yeah, we know from your videos and talking to you three or four times before we met you. You're, you're straight, direct, and that's just the way I am. And it, it, I, it, for me, it's, it suits me perfectly. I don't like uh, anything phony. So anyway, I tell them, as far as your information goes, what you give me, you look at me as a GPS. If you give me good information, and I would say because we were talking about investment or reallocating part of a portfolio, something of that nature into this country, helping them do it. If you give me accurate information, what is realistically your budget? What are you looking for? What do you want to achieve? If you give me accurate information, well, get, I'll get you within 10 square feet of where you want to be. However, and I use this word too, if you give me bullshit, we'll be ending up in Puerto Rico together because I'm only going off of the information you're giving me. So it's how I view everything when I'm absorbing knowledge because, look, the mentors, uh, part from Asia, part from Israel, I mean, you're going to get a difference of personal feeling. Me from Canada, I mean, you mix it up, it's a salad. But you, if you could leave out as well as other information sources and they're not cheap and you have to pay for them, uh, that's how, how you get accuracy. Anyway, so uh, I just wanted to uh, kind of let people know that, okay? It's nothing anybody else can't do. I want to explain when people ask also about how do you make your decisions with the information that you get. It's very important I make a distinct uh, note right now and kind of put a wedge into something. We seek truth because truth will give us a yield ahead of the curve. We'll be able to hit the brakes and slow down and make the curve where the one that comes upon it too quickly is very liable to skid and miss it, okay? That's where truth comes in. So it will keep us anywhere from days, weeks, months, years ahead of those who do not do that research. However, this is of the utmost importance 
we base our decisions on the herd mentality. And I know that's going to come to a shock, but let me, let me maybe speak a bit in, in an analogy or a, a parable, a little story of what I'm trying to say here. Knowing the fact that there would be people hoarding toilet paper, in this case, uh, when it's going to be something, it could be fuel, it could be dollars, it could be food, it could be water, it could be whatever. Bullets, ammunition, whatever. Okay, but in this case, it was toilet paper that we all can laugh about now, right? Now, we knew the truth that this is absolutely ludicrous, you know? And even if you did get the virus, it doesn't mean you're going to the bathroom 50 times more than you normally would, okay? But it's always the perception of truth. That's how we make our decision. So we knew this was coming and certain things will be run on. You go a little bit earlier and you buy. It's, you see, the truth keeps you ahead of the curve. Uh, the thing is, though, don't base your... Because if you go, I know the truth and I don't need to buy toilet paper. I know that's, a that's not real. That's just propaganda to, to scare people. Well, that, yeah, you might be right. Okay, it, it is the truth, but the point is, if you need toilet paper, there won't be any. So that's where I'm saying the decision has to come from the mentality of the herd, or like I keep saying, the ignorant. Okay, ignorant, the ones that ignore available information. Uh, I want to also keep this one relatively short because I'm only on a short break here. So remember that last point, I can't tell you how crucial that is. Uh, already our sources are coming up with, um, we're seeing accurate um, accounts already on stuff we, th we thought uh, over the last month or two. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit of hoarding uh, in terms of uh, food going on all across Asia, China, parts of it, not all across it, I want to make that a correction. Uh, we really did understand that was going to come into play because of now a lot of this is manual labor and obviously the uh, if people aren't working because they're been tricked into this pandemic even though uh, you know it's not the truth but it's the perception of truth that's what's going to dictate the reality of today I sure hope I get you to understand that because you will be more successful going forward if you do work it that way. Anyway, uh, in any endeavor actually. But uh, anyway, um, so we knew that. We also knew uh, parts of Europe would automatically start relatively quickly seeing supply problems uh, because the countries are so small. Uh, they're restricting traffic from border to border, so we knew Europe, because of the countries being so small, that's why you can go to like, you know, five countries a day if you're visiting Europe, uh, that uh, we knew that would be. So I want to make you address to that too. Um, anything else here? I did mention uh, 2020, uh, probably the, I think it was second quarter, the articles are uh, years old, but I thought it was... Uh, be uh, first half of 2020, second quarter, something like that, you're going to start to see um, that uptick in violence. You're starting to get reports of that uh, from all different uh, areas and all different types of magnitude from uh, family violence to uh, uh, break and enters to uh, robbery. So you take your pick. Um, we are clearly in the midst, at least what uh, the mentors are coming up with and the information that we gather, the four of us do, uh, we are entering the beginning, beginning, beginning stages of what uh, some people will call a, a war phase or a cycle or a, we call it a revolutionary phase. It's uh, nothing that we're saying that uh, other, some people of the more informed and the more uh, I would say enlightened have been saying the same things, okay? Uh, it's not fear, it's just what it is. Now the facts are revealing it. Um, again, you have to remember, because it's a passion of ours and it's a hobby, uh, our little group here, the mentors, we, we've taken this back um, over six millenniums, okay? That's, that's 6,000 years a cycle. Now, it's, it is something that spanned over decades of enjoyment of doing the research. Please understand this wasn't work. It was no different than somebody who loves solving complicated jigsaw puzzles, maybe, or complicated crossword puzzles. 
No different, okay? It was a puzzle and the pieces fit without cutting the corners. You don't have to carry a scissors with you and make them fit like, you know, science or, or things do, you know, with dark matter. They'll give it a, an adjustment to make a formula work and without it, it doesn't. Well, any fool can do that. My goodness. Anyway, I want to pass uh, on a closing note here, these last few tidbits. Um, I want to ask you guys a closing question, okay? Throughout history, who always creates the lines? Who always creates the fears? Who eventually always starts the warring and revolting? And if you look at it through history and leave your personal feelings out of it, it's always been the masses. It's always been the ignorant the ones who will not do research, the ones who put on a uniform and go to war without asking, wait a minute, what have they done? The ones who understand truly the difference between what is violence and what is force. And when a teacher nowadays will say it doesn't matter who started it, you're both at fault, clearly that's a lost understanding in society. All these have effects. So, again, I, I remind my uh, small but much appreciated audience, I'm glad for all your comments. Please keep the bits of information coming in. And my parting uh, and last final question is, we all have information, but do we have perspective? Start gaining perspective, and you'll be... You'll be seeing it clear as day. You're being set up like a bowling pin. Okay, it's Barry. Till next time. Bye.